So here we are then once again with Critic Captain 2021 and part three of the road to world number one with England. Today we start off the home series against India. It is going to be a fantastic series. Best of five. Well, it's not best of five. It is just five matches, I suppose. Um, you know, who will win will win a best of five. But we're playing all five anyway, even if India beat us 3-0 in the first three test matches now it is going to be an absolute cracker new zealand as they did in real life have won the test championship so hopefully india are on the back foot a little bit after that um but yeah i'm looking forward to it so leave a like down below if you're enjoying get involved down in the comment section it's great to see how many people are getting involved leaving comments james plays cricket is down there as well new zealand fan of course go and check out his channel if you haven't already it is fantastic and uh, really got me back into the sort of critic captain game towards the the start of this year. So thanks, James, for that. Um, and make make sure you leave your link down below for people to find if you if you are watching out there. But uh, anyway, let's have a little look at uh, the squad that I've picked. So uh, gone as is Mark Wood, and Johnny Bairstow has gone as well. Um, Bairstow because he's injured, uh, would have been nice to, to sort of have that extra batsman in. Uh, of course, you know, we, we pick a different squad every match, so, you know, it doesn't desperately matter at the moment. Now, uh, we're going to have Anderson and Broad in there to start off with, uh, at the very least. Archer's back into, into the fold, of course. You know, a, a very interesting bowler is Joffre. Let's ha have a little look at the, the conditions. So it is going to rain towards uh, the end of the match. So, yeah, it, it's it's not necessarily going to be guaranteed a result here. Now, the, the, the big question is, do we go Jack Leach or uh, Matt Parkinson? I think Sam Curran has got to come in. He, he proved his worth in the, in the last match. I mean, maybe he comes in for Archer. And we stick with Curran for now and maybe keep Archer in, in the wings if uh, if needed later down the line. Uh, Ollie Pope, of course, didn't have the best of series against uh, New Zealand. But we can't even uh, see his record so far. I mean, if we have a look at the, at the current year, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, 25 average by far. Uh, the worst of the the middle order, of course. Rory Burns didn't have the the greatest of times either, but um, you know I I think we can rely on him. With the ball, Jack Leach only six wickets in that New Zealand series, but his form is very very strong, and and maybe that's what's going to get him the nod today against India uh, rather than Parkinson, who I've been very impressed with in the hundred actually. Of course, the hundred a very different format, but its form is not as good as Leach's. And if we actually have a look at the current year, first class, let's see who's had more wickets. Well, there you go, sixty wickets for for Jack Leach, only fourteen for Matt Parkinson. Of course, he's only played just under half the matches, but uh, a much lower um, amount of wickets taken, and and you can see a much lower average for Jack Leach. So. That's that's what we're going for. We're going with this first eleven uh, of Burns, Sibley, Crawley, Root, Stokes, Ollie Pope, Joss Butler, Sam Curran, Stuart Broad, Jack Leach, and Jimmy Anderson. So it's, uh, I think an unchanged lineup from where we were at in the the final test against New Zealand, and I think that's that's fair enough actually after how we played against them. So. Yeah, it's 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 looking like a nice start to the day. I think if we can get off to a good start of the series, that would be good. So let's get out there, get batting, and see how we get on. So here we go. Come on, Rory. Come on, Sibley. And a nice shot from Rory Burns Laura. early on here. And a nice boundary to get. And he is under pressure. You know, we, we can look very easily for another opener if we need to. This is very decent so far from him. What a good stroke. And Sibley as well. We we could do with a nice hundred partnership here. That would be very, very good just to, to sort of set the the boundaries against India. We know they're gonna slog it out. So we need to to match them really. Oh but Sibley gone, he's out for twenty six. And that 
throws the cat amongst the pigeons, really. But another good shot from Rory Burns there. And he's off to a, a, a very decent start here. And obviously, Zach Crawley played very, very well against New Zealand. So looking forward to seeing what he can do against India. You know, in theory, New Zealand are the, the best test team in the world. They've sure? just won the test championship. So, you know, the, the, the performance against them was very yeah. strong. Yeah. But Burns is gone. He's out for 41. A shame because he, he's got a start. A shame that he couldn't go and convert it. Now Joe Root, what can he do? Again, he that. was in decent form against New Zealand. Oh, what a shot from Crawley. Right, That's right six runs. Absolutely awesome. And already into the 40s is Zach. Oh, that time in the air from Joe Root. There's somebody under it. Is it going to be caught? Well, it's dropped. And it may well go for four yet. No, not quite. They're going to come back for three, though. And Joe Root, a very lucky man there. But that's a terrific shot from Zach Crawley. And looks like he's going to head towards 50. And there it is. Brought up in emphatic style. A beautiful hook shot for four, run, uh, for, for four runs. And it's uh, 50 for Zach Crawley. Ashwin now to Joe Root. Straight drive. He's timed that beautifully. That's, That's four runs. Go on, Crawley. That's a superbly timed shot. Four ball. He had to put that away. I have to say, Zach Crawley is, is playing excellently. Good ball, but a poor... Well, Joe Root, I think I'm going to make him more aggressive. I think that's possibly how we're going to get him out of this hole. He's missed it, oh, it he's dropped again. Catch. Wow, Joe Root has been dropped twice now. He's not playing too well, but that's two dropped catches. Could that be crucial? Because that's a nice shot. Maybe he's starting to get into his flow a little bit here. Yeah, two beautiful cover drives from Joe Root into the 30s now. Mm, leg buys for four. And a no ball. Where's that going? That's high in the air again. Joe Root surely can't be dropped again. Day, no, not four, this time. Got to go. And Joe Root gone for 37. It's probably about time. He was really struggling out there. But at the T interval, it's 180 for three. And we'll certainly take 300 in this opening innings if that's uh, indeed where we get to. Obviously, it all depends on the form oh, Ben Stokes is in, really. Zach Crawley, expect him to knock, a, knock around for a little bit longer, but uh, Ben Stokes can be the maker That's or breaker right. of this innings, really. Oh, what a shot from Zach Crawley. It really has been a, a beautiful innings to watch into the 80s now. And, well, maybe Ben Stokes is in the mood. And 200 is up. Another four for Zach Crawley. Timing was the key there. Absolutely brilliant from him, and he's now into the 90s. That's oh, but Stokes has gone. He's out for 16. And Ollie Pope now comes to the crease, knowing that he desperately needs a score. That's a really graceful stroke. Four more. Good stuff. Patel now to Pope. Oh, shot and a half. Shot and a half, my friend. Oh, what a shot to bring up your 100. Zach Crawley with his third test century. That was absolutely brilliant. And uh, what a performance from him in this match so far. Shocking. Ooh, another four buys. That's uh, poor wicket keeping, really. He's played all round that. Just outside the line, I think. Let's have a little look at this. Definitely felt like that was outside the line. It was indeed. So, end of day one. 267 for four. Zach Crawley, 110 not out. A, a very nice uh, innings from him. 12 fours and, a, and that beautiful six that he pulled off. Three uh, hundreds so far. And if you look at his summer, he is uh, doing very, very well. Averaging 88 
second test century of the summer. 266 runs in five innings. Uh, you've got to be happy with that. So let's hope that he keeps it going as we head into day two. Good start for Ollie Pope. Nice little cover drive there. Oh, dear. Oh, another terrible. four buys. Goodness me. Yes, he's out. Pope gone for 33 and again getting a start but not converting it. Four more. And now it's all going to be about Joss Butler. Can he get a bit of meat on the ball? 300 is up. He's middled that. A shot from Crawley. Beautifully timed. This is good. And that's a nice stroke. This is very, very nice. And, uh, well, I think we're going to up the aggression of Butler a little bit just to see if we can take the game to India. That looks like it's going to the boundary. That's a four. Beautiful. Oof. Thought that was definitely going to be out there. He's really got hold of that. He's middling them now. Oh, it's just such a terrific stroke from Joss. And another one. And another. Absolutely thrashing his. That must have battered been. it. This is very, very good. Moves on to 49. Can he get his 50? Yes, he can. Exactly the Excellent same way. Placement. 50 runs for Josh Butler. And he is having a really good summer so far as well. That's in the air. That's six what runs. Shot. Six all the way. And this is a really good strike rate. Superb drive off the back foot. I'll tell you what, Crawley there as a support act is very, very useful. He's really cracked that one. And he's heading towards 150 now. What a shot! Good and shot it's from gone for four. Well into the 60s now. Four runs, no stopping that one. The seventies. This is super good and heading towards four hundred now. Oh, what a shot! Fielder had no chance. Oh, they're running for it, One but he's run. okay. And there's 400 the 400 up, up 400 for 5. Now, Josh Butler on 80 from 72. Zach Crawley on 147 from 313. And at the lunch interval on day 2, it is 402 for 5. What an excellent innings we are having here. What a start to the series. Four runs. And Josh Butler hurtling towards his sentry. Oh, don't. Do wicket. not retire hurt. Happily, he's going to stay Ooh. on the field. <laughs> that would have been a big blow because if he was out for the rest of the summer, that would have been dreadful. But uh, yeah, he's back out there smacking the ball now. There's another four. Zach Crawley's got his 150. Well and he's pushing on now towards 200. Right out of the middle of the bat. And Joss Butler has his century. Fastest 100. Uh, new all-time record for England versus India. Very, very interesting. But uh, what a century from Joss Butler. And, you know, uh, that's what I said, you know. Stokes can make or break it. Butler can make or break it. And, what, I mean, that, that, that is out of the park. Run. What a shot that is. That was absolutely unbelievable. And he is still... Attacking the ball. And, you know, we're heading towards 500 here. Another four. 
and we've still got Sam Curran to come. Another one that in. that one. Absolutely welly it. That's a massive shot for LB nah, Dunham. that's going to be Ball outside out. leg, I, I'm afraid. Well outside leg. But uh, all-time record partnership, 192 for England versus India. Shot. Great shot. That's a really graceful stroke. Four oh, I thought he was going to get stumped there because he came out of his crease. A huge shout goes nah. up. Not out. Slipping down leg side, I'm, I'm afraid. It's pretty close, but wasn't to be. Well oh, held. but Butler's gone. Edged and out, and well, what an innings, and it's come to an end. 135 from 150 balls, including 23 fours and two sixes. We've got to be happy with that. And now I think we take on full attack mode with Current and Crawley. Crawley gets a four there. He's going to head towards 200. 500 is up for England. Smack. Sam Current doing a, a sterling job. And 506 for 6 at tee on day 2. Beautifully timed. I always say, if you're getting 100 runs a session, you're doing no really chance. well. And we are now averaging that uh, after, you know, a few sessions where we were averaging around about 80. And Crawley's gone. What a shame. He's out for 193. Meaning that Stuart Broad now comes to the crease. And I think we might as well attack this. A big appeal. That's not going to be out. Because, you know, if we can get to 550, that's, that's great. But also, if we can get to bowl at India for oh, a glorious an hour, bowl. then that's that's even better. Out. The... Well, Lichy gone, and Anderson now comes to the crease. We'll stick him on defensive. He's not going to have much of a chance of getting meat on the ball. But uh, Curran, absolutely hammering it at the moment beautifully time and it's great to see you know we've got these counter punches in the squad he's picked that up nicely oh. this is beautiful from Sam Curran not great bowling from Ashwin though and that's well, well what a that time he's out but uh, 34 beautiful little uh Cameo there at the end, and uh, 544 all out. Let's have a look at that scorecard. Of course, the big highlight, 193 from Zach Crawley, but a brilliant 135 from Josh Butler uh, helped us on our way. A few little 30s in there, disappointing for Root, disappointing for Pope, uh, even Rory Burns not to go and convert those good starts. Ben Stokes a little bit disappointing. Uh, only 16 from him, but uh, overall we did very, very well. Pick of the ball, as was, of course, uh, Ravi Ashwin. Six wickets for 209. Goodness me. Uh, that is a lot of runs conceded. Three for Bumrah, one for Axel Patel. So, uh, let's see how we get on then. Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad, how can we do against India? We need early wickets here to try... And put them under pressure. Good ball from Stu Broad. We've got about an hour here to have a good ball at them. Anderson to Egerval. Edged. Oh, and that's dropped. And that is a huge chance missed early on. Anderson to Sharma. That's going to be out. That is going to be out. Don't leave it to luck with the fielders. Ball it at his stumps. And he gets LBW. Sharma gone for 12. And Anderson gets the first wicket of... Uh, the no series what to do with that. for us and uh, what a start for him let's get Sam Curran in he was absolutely terrific in the New Zealand series in that second test match um, let's see how he gets on we, we opened up with him on day two Curran in Egerval now Oof. is that an inside edge? no and, well Curran's still bowling well no oh. Quite though. 
It's a pity. Right, let's get uh, Jack Leach in. He's apparently in good form, so he needs to show it now. Because we need him uh, to do a Ravi Ashwin. Leach in Egerval. It's going to slide well, down legs. The leg side, unfortunately. Broad in uh, oh, Well, another day, oh. he might have put back to ball. He comes in again. Soundly beaten. Oh. Broad has been very unlucky. He's balled very well. But India, 150 for one here. You know, they're building a, a good platform to attack us. But that's going to be Leach's first wicket. And Agaval is gone. He's out for 85. Leach with the LBW. And uh, India wonder a two down now. Broad oh, into Kohli. Not quite. Let's try and get Pajara out as well. Oh, yes. Plum. Plum LBW. He's gone for 52. So two relatively new batsmen to the crease now. Let's get Jimmy in. See if he can get Kohli. Or oh, Rahul. That's a fabulous delivery. And Rahul gone for nine. All LBW so far. And India now 187 for four. The big fish. He's and he's gone. Caught by Joe Root. Coley gone for 15. That is what we're talking about. Absolutely brilliant. Anderson into Rahani. What a great oh, catch. Oh, well. Second drop catch of the innings. That's but that's going to be out. Pan gone for one, uh, 11. And now 203 for six. Jimmy Anderson having a terrific time with the he's ball. Out. Edged and gone. Catch. Rahani out for 11. And, uh, well, Axel Patel is now in from the other side. Anderson in Ashwin. Oh. He's gone for six. Anderson's fifth wicket. And, uh, well, Anderson and Leach have had a terrific spell together here. Well bowled. I think we're going to take Anderson off because I'm sensing a follow-on. The big shout goes up. What's the umpire going to say? The umpire says not out, but it wasn't missing by much. And we need Anderson opening and the, the ball and... In this sort of form. T interval day three. 2.44 for eight. Still 101 to avoid the follow on. New ball available. We're going to chuck it to Ben Stokes. He hasn't had much of a ball. Stokes into Patel. That's high in the air. Brilliant and it's caught. Have. Broad catches it. Patel gone. And the change of ball and works a treat. And Stokes comes into Sharma. Oh, that's caught him in two minds. Not quite. He hasn't got hold of that. Is there somebody out there? Not quite. That's going to be six, actually. That's unbelievable. Curran into Sharma. It's a beautiful ball. Not quite. Curran again. Oh, that was close. Oof. Stokesy into Sharma. He was nowhere near it at all. Well taken. Gone. Absolutely catch. terrific catch. Sharma gone for 38. And India are all out for 290, meaning that we have the option to enforce the follow-on. And, of course, we are going to do that um, because rain is coming on day four. So we need to, to make the most of it now. We've uh, brought Jimmy Anderson uh, in from a rest, and hopefully he can get off to a good start. Good ball. Oh, Edged and gone. Yes, good. second ball. Sharma gone for a duck. And Jimmy Anderson off the mark in the second innings. And these are ominous signs for India. That could be a thin edge. It's not. Well, Anderson, uh, Agaval. Beaten him. Not quite. Broad into Pajara. Oh, he was nowhere oh. near that one. And Broad's bowled well. He's been unlucky so far, oh, but he... Oh, he should have had his reward there. I think we're going to need some catching practice in between matches because this could, in theory, cost us still. Although we are 210 runs ahead, 44 for one. You know, India are in a, a decent position to turn this around here. We're going to bring in Jack Leach fairly early on in the innings and try and back up Anderson. That's got to be out. And it is. Good catch from Rory Burns. He's gone for 37. And now Anderson has his second wicket. Leach into Coley. That's gone. Stumped. He's gone. Coley gone for seven. And that's when you know you're onto a, a good good innings with the ball. Perfect length. Oh, I mean, there is some ripping turn out there. Anderson to Rahul. That was far enough away from the bat that even I could see that that wasn't an edge. 
Oh, Leachy. Now into Rahul. Come on. Excellent. He's gone. Good catch from Root. Rahul gone for 14 now. Give Anderson one more over. And then change him for Sam Curran. See if Curran can make any impact. Well, what a catch from Root. That was brilliant. Agaval gone for 69. And now India. Five down for 149. Mm, that could have been a little thin one. Curran into Pan. Edged and, and gone. What catch. a catch that is from uh, Sibley. All of a sudden we've started to take our catches and it's making a difference. Lunch interval day four. 156 for six. We still lead by... Uh, 96 runs, rain stops play, so we lose 15 minutes to the T interval. Um, rain stops play again, 38 minutes lost. So we've got 38 overs at the end of day four to get back at oh, India. Yeah. That's out, that's out. Uh, Rahani gone for nine, and Leachy gets his... Uh, Third wicket of the innings. Curran in Axel Patel. Oh, that's got it's a terrific delivery, you know. And Patel oh. is gone. He's out for 13. And Curran Good ball. now looking more like the man that was bowling against New Zealand. He really is. Anderson into Bumrah. Well, He's gone that? as well. He's out for a duck. Three wickets for Anderson. And we need one more wicket to win now. And Leachy coming in to Ashwin. What a good ball. Oof. He had to play. Not quite. Well, these two are balling really, really There's well no together. Come on, Leach. Leach in Ashwin. Are we going to win it? It's yes, we are. Oh, brilliant start to the series. That is what we're talking about. Jack Leach, what a match for him. And uh, we win by an innings and 13 runs against India, who are the number one ranked side in the world. But we played that match beautifully. We batted well in the first inning, scoring 544. And then we said, right, it's over to you, Jimmy, uh, Jack, Sam. You know, and they absolutely bossed it. Look at that. Anderson, 5 for 53 in the first innings. Uh, 1 for Stokes, 1 for Curran, uh, and 3 for Jack Leach. 3 for 60 in that first innings. In the second innings, uh, Jack Leach, 4 for 83. Anderson, 3 for 72. Uh, and Curran, 3 for 35. A little worry about Stuart Broad. Uh, he didn't get any wickets in that match. And potentially that's a sign, you know, we need to take Broad out of it, get Archer in there, a little bit more venom in the attack. He only bowled nine overs in the second innings. He actually only bowled 15 in the first innings. So, you know, he bowled decently. He didn't get the results. That could make the difference in other matches. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, we take a 1-0 lead into the five-match series. Of course, there's a long, long way to go. But well, that is exactly the start that we wanted. And uh, we move on to Birmingham and the second test match in the next episode. And if you've enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Cricket Captain content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.